Hi, welcome to What's Developer. Today we're gonna learn how to add Google Fonts in HTML and CSS in 2021. We're gonna use the code editor Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever code editor you like, right? So I'm just gonna go to my Visual Studio Code, and we have a simple HTML file. We have a H1 tag and a P tag. So we're gonna change the Google Fonts on these. We have linked a style sheet right here. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave a link in the description below. All right, so we want to go to a new browser. We're gonna go to google.com. We're just gonna search for Google Fonts. Just open up this one, fonts.google.com. And here we can see a lot of Google Fonts. We can search for font right here. Or just go through the list and find one that we like. We also see that we have uh, styles right here if you want to add more styles to each Google font. So I'm just gonna go and find one that I like. So let's say I want to have this one, Oxygen. We can see that this one has three styles. We can just click on this card and this will open up a new page with the Google font Oxygen we see that we have three styles. So to select this one, we're just gonna go to uh, this one, click on select this style, and this will end up right here. So we're gonna choose uh, light 300, and we're gonna choose bold 700. Just so we can see the difference. I'm gonna click on select this style, like so. So now we have two styles from Oxygen, now we're gonna go to use on the web. We're gonna copy this link, like so. Go back to your code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And we're gonna go to the HTML document. Between the head tags, we're gonna paste this link. Make sure to paste your link above your CSS file. So I'm gonna paste it right here, like so. And we can see that we have uh, 300 and 700 as a style option. All right, we're gonna save this. And now we're gonna just go and target the body. So if you target the body, this will apply Google Fonts to all your text in your HTML file. You can also target whatever you like, maybe a div with a class, a paragraph with a class and so on. So now we're gonna go to style.css. We're gonna add body, open and close curly brackets, like so. We're gonna go back to the browser, Google Fonts, and we're gonna go right here to CSS rules to specify families. We're gonna copy this font family, like so. Go back to your code editor, and we're gonna paste it right here. So we have font family, oxygen, and we have sans serif as a backup if this one doesn't work. So just go and save this one. We're gonna go to the browser, go to your document, and we're gonna update this one. And now we can see that we have the new Google font oxygen. So if you have Chrome, you can just go and inspect this one. Just right click, click on inspect. And now we can click on the H1 tag. We can go down and we see that we have font family, oxygen. We can uncheck this one to see the difference. All right, so let's go and add some styles to the paragraph because the styles will not apply to the H1 tag. Let's go back to the code editor. And if you go to your HTML file, we see that we can use 300 and 700. So I'm just gonna go to style.css. I'm gonna add the marker right here, hit, space and now we're gonna add font dash weight like so and we can choose 300 or 700 i'm just gonna choose 700 so we can see the difference i'm gonna save this one go back to the browser and just go and update your document and now we can see that we have a bold 700 for the paragraph you can also just go and inspect it let's click on the paragraph Go down, and now we see body, font family, uh, oxygen. We have font weight 700. We can also uncheck this one to see the difference. 
All right, so comment below if this uh, video worked out for you. Also, if you want more of these videos, subscribe, have an awesome day, take care, and bye.